Okay, this video is going to talk about ClassLink. Um, ClassLink is a program that we're using um, to start to bring all your usernames and passwords for the various websites and programs that we use um, under one, one roof, allow you to manage it hopefully a little easier, um, get to it a little easier. Um, so uh, to get to ClassLink, uh, on the district website, you come down here, you scroll down, and you're going to want to click on resources. In the past, when you clicked on resources, it gave you a whole big page full of just links. Um, and it was all sorts of stuff that you know perhaps you didn't use. If you were a teacher that didn't use Rosetta Stone, you didn't need Rosetta Stone on your menu. Um, but it was there, and you had to you know thumb through it and, and sort through it and find what you were looking for. What ClassLink allows you to do is only have the links on here that you use. Um, and your students can do the same thing. The students can have the links that only they use. So they don't have to go thumbing through a bunch of things they don't need to try and find a few things they do need. So we're going to click on resources here, and it's going to bring up the class link page. And when the class link page opens, you're going to see this screen. And it's going to have a, an option for username and password and sign in, or sign in with ADFS. Um, if you are logged in at work, at school, on your district computer, in, the, in your school, or in the admin building, or anywhere in the district, you can click sign in and you're logged in as yourself. You have to be logged into the uh, computer as yourself. But if you're logged into the computer as yourself, um, you can click sign in with ADFS and it will punch, it'll, it'll log you in as whatever the computer is logged in as. If you're at home or if you're somewhere else and or you want to log in as like one of your students or something, you can put in the username and password and then click sign in. But if you're logged in as yourself and you want to use your own, you can just click sign in with ADFS and it's going to come up and this is going to be my screen since this computer is logged in as me so I will have some things on my screen that you probably won't have on yours and that's the whole point is that different people will have different things if you're a classroom teacher for example you won't have PowerSchool admin because you don't use PowerSchool admin you use Power Teacher. Um, so this is what I have on here right now and I have various um, various links that you may or may not have. You may not have Help Desk, you may not have PowerSchool Admin, but you may have something that I don't have. For example, uh, well, here's one, Renaissance. I don't have Renaissance on here at the moment, so I'm going to want to go, and since I'm an administrator, not a student, a teacher, I want to add the teacher Renaissance. So to add an icon, if you don't see something on here, there's certain ones that, 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 that we have put on here that, that you can't change, that we know you want. Email is one, ASOP is another one. Um, I think that uh, help desk might be on there for everybody. So if you wanted to add one, like I don't see one for Renaissance, I want to be able to put star uh, on here. You come up here to the top next to the silhouette, and, and over here there's one that's a, that's a, it says edit mode. It's supposed to be look like a piece of paper and a pencil. If you click on that, it's going to bring up this. I'm going to want to click new app. And when you click new app, it's going to come up, and you have three choices of libraries up here. All apps is everything that ClassLink, which is a individual, a separate company, everything that they have. So if you scroll here through here, you're going to see stuff that you've never seen before. Most of the time, you're not going to want that. I don't need to. I don't care what other other districts are using ClassLink for, and I don't care what ClassLink offers other districts. I'm going to want to hit Burbank School District Library. That's the teacher and staff applications. And then there's a student library. So if you're logged in as a kid or you want to see a kid's, um, for example, Renaissance, a kid's log into Renaissance, you can do student library. This is only things that are approved by our administration for the students to access. This is going to be everything that the uh, Burbank District owns. And this is everything ClassLink owns. I think for the most part you're going to stay away from this. So I'm going to do Burbank School District Library. This is all the stuff that we have approved. If there's something on here you think is missing, put in a help desk and let us know. I think we've got most of it now. But I'm looking for Renaissance. So I can either come up here and type Renaissance search or I can scroll. I will search for Renaissance. And I typed in REN and it's giving me teacher or student. Well, I want teacher. So I'm going to click on teacher and I'm going to click on add. And now it says remove and it has a little check mark. So I'm going to close this up here. I'm going to close this here, and there's Renaissance Teacher. So now my login for Renaissance Teacher is the same username and password as my um, login for the computer. So I should be able to just click on Renaissance. It's going to take me to the Renaissance page. 
making magic happen, and it logs me into Renaissance. I did not, and I'm a teacher, I did not have to put in my username and password for Renaissance. It plugged that in for me. So that's one of the benefits. You don't have to go punching in your password over and over. Um, another thing you can do, and I will close this out, my login for McGraw-Hill, um, I use um, Denise Flavin's login because she's the, she's the system administrator. So if I click this right now, it's going to take me to McGraw-Hill, but it, it doesn't have my username and password because I don't have a username and password. So I'm going to use Denise's. And now I have punched this in once. I'm going to click Save, and it's going to take me to McGraw-Hill. Making magic happen. And I'm in. Now that I have done that once, now that I have logged in is, is with my different username and password, and this might be something like uh, Park, you might have a different login name, like uh, I know Map uses your email addresses instead of your username. You can set this up. Now when I log in as McGraw-Hill, the next time it is not going to ask me for a username and password because I entered it once and it's saved. And ClassLink does that, making magic happen. And I'm back in. So that is how you add an icon to ClassLink. That's how you use ClassLink. Um, again, if you click Add, Add App, New App, you've got the options for Student Library. They're different things or different. Some different things. Some are the same. Some are different. Um, that the students have access to than teachers have access to. That's the big thing to remember when looking for icons is that students and teachers have different things. And you can, some things you can get rid of. So for example, let's say I don't need RAS Kids. I'm not, I don't use RAS Kids. If I right click on RAS Kids, I can do, oh, RAS Kids is one of the ones that's, that's, locked, that's, that's locked. Let's say I wanted to get rid of Renaissance. I can do delete and Renaissance goes away. I can add it back in if I need to. Let's say my password for something has changed. If I right click and do update password and then edit, I can change my username and password here. So if my like my my well, my power school password wouldn't change, but like if my uh, map password changed, if I changed my park login, things like that. Um, so you have a lot more control over your passwords here, and then you don't have to be punching them in over and over is the main thing for, for me. And then the other thing is I don't have to see a bunch of things on this page that I don't use. The other thing you can do with uh, ClassLink, um, especially this isn't so useful when you're at uh, work, at school, but if you're at home, down here at the bottom, if you click on My Files, right now we're on My Apps, if you click on My Files, it gives you access to open agent. It gives you access to your home drive and the shared drives. Um, your home drive, I don't know, at this point in my mind, you should be using OneDrive. OneDrive is cloud based, it's on the internet. No matter where you're at, if you have an internet connection, you can get to OneDrive. Plus, it has a lot more storage space uh, than your home drive. But if you click on home drive, it'll take you to your home drive files. Um, if I close this up here, oops, I thought I wanted to go to share drive. I can hit my department share, my building shares. So your your share drives that you use um, when you're at school, you can hit them through here. So that's another feature of ClassLink that you're able to uh, hit your share drives um, from outside the district.